Normal saline versus lactated ringers. Which one should you be using and when should you be using it? Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome to today's episode. We're going to break down two of the most commonly used fluids in EMS and any other clinical setting, really, for that matter. And that's going to be lactated ringers and normal saline. Um, whether you're preparing for a call or just brushing up on your knowledge, understanding these fluids is key to making the right decision for your patient. So let's dive in. First, let's talk about normal saline. So 0.9% sodium chloride, aka normal saline, contains 154 milliequivalents per liter of sodium and the same amount of chloride. Its osmolarity is about 308, uh, making it isotonic, and its pH is slightly acidic at around 5.5. Now let's talk about lactated ringers. So lactated ringers, on the other hand, um, is a balanced crystalloid. So it contains 130 MEQs of sodium, 109 MEQs of chloride, 4 MEQs of potassium, and 3 of calcium. Um, and then finally, 28 MEQs of the lactate, thus the lactated ringers. Um, it's also isotonic with the osmolarity of 273, but it does have a pH of 6.5, so much better than normal saline. All right, let's go on a call. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So when do we actually use these fluids? So generally normal saline is the go-to fluid resuscitation and dehydration hypovolemia. It is compatible with blood products. Um, so you are going to need to use that for your choice of piggyback for blood products. Um, it's also a good option for flushing lines, things like that. Kind of like the boring stuff, to be honest. Talk about lactated ringers. So it's often preferred in trauma loss, um, especially patients um, who are experiencing traumas, burns, things like that, severe bleeding. Just make sure if you are running blood, you're running this through a different line. Um, it is a better choice for restoring electrolytes, as we talked about before, it does have more electrolytes um, and the osmolarity is more similar to your blood than anything else. Um, and it's particularly helpful for patients who may be experiencing um, metabolic acidosis, so it's a little less acidic than our um, normal saline. Our normal saline, so it's high in chloride and it doesn't have potassium. Um, and it's compatible with blood products, so we like that. It's generally safe um, and very versatile. So when it comes to our lactated ringers, obviously this mimics our plasma more similarly with the electrolytes and the osmolarity. So we do like this a little bit more for our patients who um, may be dealing with metabolic acidosis, volume loss, burns, etc. Um, we do need to be a little bit more cautious when we administer LR to patients who may be experiencing um, liver or kidney failure.